Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Chris Harvey. Thanks for checking out this video where today I'm going to talk to you all about how to make your lead lines sound more melodic and more vocal like. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I have always been drawn to guitarists such as Derek Trucks, who just has a very distinct voice on the guitar. Obviously, because he plays slide, he has a real feel of fluidity when he plays because he doesn't necessarily need to pay attention to the frets because the slide is going to glide over all of the sort of distinguished notes on the fretboard denoted by the frets. He has much more tonal possibilities. And this idea of fluidity and being able to glide up and down the fretboard just has a very vocal quality because it's very similar to how a vocalist would approach singing. things that we can implement on the guitar without needing a slide to give you that sense of motion and gliding up and down the fretboard and making your phrases sound way more melodic and way more vocal like. So let me take you a little bit closer to the fretboard and I'm going to show you some simple patterns and a couple of overarching concepts that you can start to implement right away. So let's start by thinking about some really soulful vocalists who have great feel and have really tremendous ability to do very fluid and fast runs and they have the ability to do that because they aren't limited by frets as we are on the guitar those very distinct delineations of notes so we need to try and find a way to get past these frets to achieve that feeling of gliding up and down the fretboard so let's start by just taking a basic major scale so in the progression that i was playing over at the start of this video it was just a simple chord progression in c major going from the one chord which was c to the four chord which was f and then i think there was an a minor which is the six minor in there as well so all you need to do is first of all start thinking about scales rather than playing them up and down so if we start by just highlighting a c major scale so you can play it up on your root note here on the eighth fret but i like to play in the relative minor so what i do is i find my relative minor of that key so a really easy way to do this is to take your root and just move it down four frets one two three four that would be A minor. Or you can just find your sixth note in your major scale, three, four, five, six, which is A. And that's going to be your minor pentatonic shape that allows you to play a major scale. So now if we play an A minor pentatonic, starting on C, then that is the same as a C major scale. Hopefully that makes sense. And apologies if you already knew that, but there might be some people out there who don't understand that concept. But what I want to now do is take that scale because playing scales in that way doesn't give us that fluid motion. However, if we play our scales in a linear fashion, going on just one string up and down the fretboard, then we're gonna immediately start to add that feeling of fluidity and motion. So let me take my root. So I'm going to take my root on the G string here. So again, if we just imagine this C chord, like a C bar chord, where we've got root, fifth, and then root again. Or we can think about it as this C major triad, where we have our fifth, our fifth here, which is G. We have our root here, which is C. And then on our fifth fret on the B string, we've got our major third, which is E. So what we want to think about doing now is playing the major scale from each of those intervals. So let's start on the root and let's just play the major scale on only the G string. So that already sounds much more fluid and much more vocal-like. That's why guitar players like Derek Trucks have that very vocal-like quality in their playing because quite often when Derek is phrasing, he's using the slide and he's often playing phrases just by ascending and descending on one string set. So next, let's start by playing on another interval because that's going to give us some real variety in our phrasing. So this time, let's start on our major third. And again, we're going to do the same thing. We're just going to play all the notes in the C major scale on the B string, starting on our major third of E. And now let's do the same, starting on our fifth, which is G. Mm -hmm. 
So just by playing your major scale, but starting on different intervals within the scale, is immediately giving you a lot more flavor and a lot more variation in your playing. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you some stock phrases and ideas that will just take this very kind of fluid approach of this vocal quality, and it's just gonna add an extra level of sophistication. So let's start again on the G string, starting on C. And this time I'm gonna show you a lick that you can use on every single string because again, every single note that we're playing is from the C major scale. So let's play a lick like this. So we're going C, D, E, F, B, e, D, C. So I'll say it again, but in frets. So we've got fifth fret, G string, 7th fret G string, 9th fret G string, 10th fret G string, and then back down. Now the real crux of this sort of idea is the hammer-ons and the slides that we're going to add to this major scale. So where we have this motion here, now let's do the same again starting on E here on our B string. And then resolving back to C because that is our key center. This time we're doing the same pull off and slide lick that we did here on the G string. But this time we're doing it up here. So we're starting on C again. So starting on C, which is just our 13th fret on the B string, hammering onto the 12th fret from the 10th fret, sliding down to the 10th fret on the B string. And then finally we can do the same again on the G. So starting on the 5th fret here on the D string, starting on G, which is the 5th in C major. Hopefully all of this is making sense to you all. Um, and this time again, start with the scale and do the same pattern in terms of that hammer on and pull off. And now we can start to implement them all together. So that's a really simple way to get your playing sounding much more fluid, much more vocal-like, and you don't even need a slide to be able to play in this style, but having this approach is much more reminiscent to how a slide guitarist approaches the instrument. So you can start to adopt some of those slide-like qualities. So guys, I hope you found this video helpful. It's just scratching the surface, but it's definitely an approach just by adopting a more linear nature in your playing it's definitely gonna take your playing to a much more fluid, vocal, and melodic style. So if you've found this helpful, make sure to give the video a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already, and ring the bell to get notified of when new videos go live. As always, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you all in the next one.